one-fourth of the people in a convention room are seated in two-thirds of the chairs. The rest of the people in the room decide to stand. If there are four empty chairs, how many people are standing? We're going to solve this problem by filling out a table. And let's see what the table looks like. What's going on? Let's explain what's going on. I have actually two scenarios. One involves chairs. They are either empty or occupied. The other one involves people. They're either seated or they're standing. And for each, I have a fraction scenario. I have a number scenario. Fraction means something like one-third of the chairs are empty or one-fourth of the chairs are empty. Number would mean five chairs are empty. So let's fill out this table. We actually know three of these eight spots. We know what should go in three of these eight spots. Here, 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 and here. We have eight spots. The first one is one-fourth of the people are seated. So it's one-fourth is a fraction and this is about seated people. So one-fourth should go here. The next one, one-fourth of the people in a convention room are seated in two-thirds of the chair. So we know two-thirds of the chairs are occupied. That two-thirds is a fraction and it's about occupied chairs, so it should go here. There are four empty chairs. This is not a fraction, it's a number, and it's about empty chairs, so the number empty chairs, four goes here. So these are the three things I know from the question. Using these three things and our knowledge of fractions and subtraction and multiplication, we're going to fill out the remaining spots. And note, the question says, how many people are standing? This is really what we're looking for. Once we find this number, we are done. So that's a brief sketch of where we are going. Let's erase everything for now. Okay, so this is what we know. I had all those things written all over the place, so now I have a cleaner slide. Two-thirds of the chairs are occupied. That comes from here. One-fourth of the people are seated. That goes here. Four of the chairs are empty. That goes here. Now, if two-thirds of the chairs are occupied, one-third one of the chairs must be empty. I'm going to say that once again. If two-thirds of the chairs are occupied, one-third of the chairs must be empty. Let's put one-third here because one-third plus two-thirds is three-thirds and that's your whole or all chairs. Now, if one-third of something is same as four, two-thirds should represent, could be represented by eight. So what we are saying, if one-third of something is four, two-thirds of the same thing should be eight. So let's put eight here. Let's erase everything and put eight right here. Now, another critical step. If you have eight occupied chairs, then you have eight seated people. This eight comes here. And that's common sense. Eight occupied chairs means eight seated people. So let's erase all that. We are almost done. If one-fourth of the people are seated, then three-fourths of the people are standing because one-fourth plus three-fourths is four-fourths. That represents all the people. So let's erase all that and write it down nicely. Okay, now if one-fourth of the people is same as eight people, three-fourths of the people should be really three times eight or twenty-four. Kind of makes sense. One way to look at it, if one-fourth of the people, I'm going to draw it right here, if this is eight, just one-fourth is eight. Three-fourths should be eight plus eight plus eight is twenty-four, or eight times three is twenty-four. So let's erase all that and write down our final answer. My answer is 24. There are 24 people who are standing.